with you guys got another video on how to clone data from your old drive to your new drive now this could be an ssd hard drive or even one of these external uh, nvme enclosures and that's what i'm going to be using here so i'm going to be cloning my main drive to one of these nvme enclosures and i can then remove that drive if i wanted to and put that into a new computer so i wanted to use something different like O and O disk image 17. now i'm going to download this and give this a go because I haven't used this software before and someone mentioned in the comment section they would like to see a review of this software so I thought why not just do another clone video showing you how this software works so we're going to go ahead and get this installed on the PC now you can clone from a hard drive to an SSD a hard drive to an NVMe SSD to NVMe or you can go to SSD to NVMe external hard drive or an enclosure or whatever it is you're trying to do with your cloning so whether it's hard drive to an external nvme enclosure you can do that as well so we're going to be showing you the method like i mentioned earlier and we're going to go ahead and i'll show you how that works with this software so we've got this software now installed on the system it wants us to reboot our computer so that's what we're going to go ahead and do and once we get to the desktop we'll be able to open up the software and use this to clone our drive. This means that all your data and all your programs will still be intact and you'll be able to still use those on your new drive. So we'll be cloning our C drive to our D drive. So our C drive has got Windows on it and our D drive is an empty drive, which could be a new drive. This is a external uh, NVMe enclosure and I can then remove that and put it into my new computer if you don't have two NVMe slots on your computer. So let's go ahead and open up ONO Disk Image Professional Edition. We're going to be using the trial unregistered version here. This will give us a 30 day trial, which means we can do a full clone of our system. And after 30 days, you will have to then purchase the software. You can see here, we've got backup drives, we've got file backup, we've got image of changes, and we've got restoration, we've got one click image, We've got recovery media and also clone. So you can create a recovery media as well right here. So we're going to be using the clone feature here. So it's pretty simple software. All you need to do here is go to the source side, which is the drive that you want to clone from. So we're going to be choosing this drive here and put the check mark into drive uh, zero or disk zero. Now we need to choose the target drive, which is where it's going to clone to, which is going to be our new NVMe drive. So we can go over here and we can look for this drive here. You can see there's a few drives here and we're looking for this one here, disk two. And this is the one we're going to be going to, which is a one terabyte drive. So let's go ahead and uh, put the check mark in this drive. And uh, what this is going to do is allow us to erase this data on here. You can see there is data on here. It's been used before. And I'm going to erase all of this and it will remove all this data and put Windows on it. So add as a job or you've got cloning. So we'll go ahead and click cloning. And there we have more options. And you can see we've got a bunch of options here. You can play sound when completed, restart when completed, or shut down or whatever it is you want to set that to. I'm going to click start and it's going to say add a source drive. And there's also a completely delete the target drive this is because it does have uh, data on there and it says you sure you want to delete all of this stuff so what I'm going to do basically put the radio button in uh, completely delete target drive and this will make it one whole drive so let's go ahead and click delete and this will then go off and start doing that for us it's going to read the partitions and it will go ahead and we can then click start once we've got this done and this will then start the cloning process but before that happens, it's going to give you a pop-up box saying the source drive system reserve was bootable. Would you also like to make the target drive bootable? This is going to be our new drive. So I'm going to say yes here because I want to use it in my new computer and I want it to become bootable. So let's click yes. And this will then go off and get that ready for us. And then once that's done, we can then start the cloning process and it will start cloning our drive. So it's going to copy all of this information across here and I'll speed this process up. It didn't take too long. In fact, it was a pretty uh, painless operation 
from this software. I thought this software performed pretty well, to be honest with you. There is a few warnings here, and it will give you the information on what these warnings are, and you can read these up. But it hasn't affected the clone at all, so that's a good thing. So what I'm going to do next is boot to this drive. Because it's made bootable, I can actually boot to this drive, and I can show you that it's an exact copy of what we've already got, which means I can now put this into my new PC. So let's go ahead and uh, close this off. You can have a look at the warnings here down the bottom and it will tell you exactly what these warnings are. Once you're happy with this, I can close this off and we can then uh, start booting to this drive. So let me close this off and it's going to detect the drives. I can now close the software off because we finished with the software. And you can see now we do have an identical copy right here of our C drive. So what I'm going to do here next, you can see there is a bit of space missing here, and that's because it's left a bit of unallocated space on the drive. In fact, it's probably left around about half the drive space, which I can then add at a later date and expand that drive if I wanted to when I get it into the PC. Let me quickly just uh, restart this system. So I'm going to restart. And basically, I don't have to boot to it. I could take this out now and put this into my new computer. But I'll boot to it, and I can show you here. So let me just change the boot order to uh, USB uh, storage device, which is my USB drive, which has that um, NVMe drive in there. It's an enclosure. It's super fast. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one here and push Enter. And because this drive is now bootable, it should boot up, as you can see here. It's starting to boot up to the desktop on our NVMe enclosure drive, which has our new cloned image on it. So let me go ahead and uh, take a look at this once we get to the desktop. So it shouldn't take too long. And there we have a complete clone of our previous drive. And you can see all the drives are now listed here. So what I'll do is I'll quickly go to disk management here and I can show you uh, the disk management for these drives. So let's go ahead and go into uh, disk management. I could see it. There we go. And uh, once we've got this open, we can take a look inside here. And if we look here, you'll be able to see the actual drive here, which we just created. So let me just zoom in here. I'm going to take a closer look at the drive down the bottom here. Now you can see there is a, a big load of unallocated space here. And uh, we can reuse this space whenever we like. Once I get this into the new machine, I can literally either extend uh, the C drive and make this the whole drive here, or I could just basically uh, make another partition if I wanted to. So for now, let's just quickly create a new uh, partition here. So I'm just going to quickly right click on here and go new simple volume, and you can create a new volume here. There we go, and I can click next, give it a drive letter, and click next again, give it a name if you want to, uh, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I'll just then create a new uh, volume here. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a name. We'll call this, say, Archive or something like that. There we go. And then click Next. And then finish this off. And there we go. That's now done. And all we need to do now is, if we take a look here, you can see the drive that we just created here. So and that's it, really. That's basically how you can clone your drive. And I can remove this and put this into a new PC, and it will boot straight up just like it has here. So let me just quickly show you here and uh, that we are booting to different drives here. I've got all the icons on the desktop here on both of these drives. So I'll hide these, and I'll boot to the other drive, which is the original drive that was on here. So I've hidden all the uh, icons, and we'll just quickly restart the system and we'll boot to the uh, drive that was originally cloned, so you can see. So that was the external drive there, which we just hidden the icons on, and I'll quickly boot up to the desktop here. And there we are, we're at the desktop of the other drive, which we cloned, and this is it here, and you can see the icons are still on the desktop. And again, all we need to do now is shut the PC down, remove the uh, USB external NVMe drive and take the drive out and put it into our new computer if we wanted to or into the same computer and basically boot to it and change the boot order and you will then have a new drive that has been cloned and that's it it's pretty straightforward stuff
So I'll quickly uh, reboot the system again and go back to the external NVMe drive again, which will have no icons on the desktop. And that's how you can create your bootable uh, clones, and then you just change them and put them into your new machine or upgrade your old drive so you don't lose all of your data or all of your programs. It will be exactly how you left it before you change the drive. So that is a plus side to the cloning method here. And I'll just quickly show you these icons here. There we go. And that is the O&O Disk Image 17. Uh, it's a pretty decent bit of software. It cloned very quickly. And uh, it's just another cloning software. But I wanted to show you it. If you want to see some other videos with this software, let me know in the comments section below what you would want to see. Or any other cloning software you want to see me use, I will be happy to make those videos for you. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members. I really do appreciate the support. And I shall catch you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye for now.